morning we had heard of two lionesses being found pretty much in the central parts of the reserve. So we're gonna head across there. But it's been a glorious, nice, cool morning with a little bit of clouds around us, so very, very pleasant to be out this morning. So on our way across to the lions, we've been slightly sidetracked by a huge dazzle of zebra and a large journey of giraffe, all out in the open here. It's such a stunning scene, we're going to just spend a bit of time here and we'll get across to the lions as soon as we can. Got a few of the giraffe moving through here and then eventually bending down to have a drink. And imagine if your head's about six meters high and you need to bend it all the way down to the ground. Pretty difficult feat for the giraffe, so it's got to spread its legs out pretty wide and then bend its neck all the way down. And what's interesting is a giraffe has got a ligament that runs along the back of its neck, which helps it actually hold its head up with very little muscle contraction. So in order to now bend down to drink, they've got to contract those muscles in the front of their neck which counteracts against that ligament and then allows it to bend all the way down. Have a drink and then as it eventually wants to stand up, you see it all then flick its head because that's now the muscles relaxing and that ligament taking action again and flicking its head back up. So just an unbelievable scene. Very glad that we got waylaid on our way across to the lions. I know just know how remarkable zebra and giraffe are. And a lot of people travel across the world and these are some of the most sought after animals. So never get bored spending time with them. They're always doing something. The zebra's are often moving around feeding, their tails are swishing and then just watching the interactions as they all move around. You really just take the time to appreciate them and watch some of the small subtle details. A lot of the giraffe all ruminating. They would have had to now regurgitate food from their stomach all the way up their neck. So you imagine the muscles and the contractions that go through called peristalsis which actually pushes that food back up into their mouth. They'll process it for a good minute or two and then swallow it and regurgitate another piece. And so that's just one way in order to reabsorb or absorb as much of the nutrients as possible. It's just incredibly graceful watching them moving. It almost appears as though they're just sailing through as it's walking on by. But we're going to carry on, see if we can get across to those lions before it gets too warm and they settle down in the shade. Um, and we are definitely not disappointed by this distraction on our way across to the lions. Okay, so you'll never believe it. These lions have moved. 
and as we are leaving the giraffe and zebra behind us there the lions are out in the clearing a good 300 400 meters away so at the moment we can just see two males i wonder where the females have gone uh, there's a, a good chance they're looking to settle down in the shade somewhere here but still just to spend some time with some lions will always be great especially out in the open like this They're looking like they're all settling down in the shade nicely now and there's very little chance of them getting up to too much it's starting to get very warm and uncomfortable being out in the sun you can see them panting looks as though both of these two females are mothers and so the search still continues for their den the fact that they had walked across from where they were to here with these three males means it's very unlikely that they're going to go back to the den. So I feel it's not worth our while sitting it out here now with these lions, hoping that they go back to the den because there's very slim chances of them going back now. It's been great to have lions spending so much time on Londolozi and having the several females in this area it's almost a guarantee that if you were to drive through this area, you're either going to find them, one of the males, or tracks of any of these individuals having moved through the area because the mothers are going to have to go back to their den at least once a day, sometimes twice a day, to go and nurse and groom their cubs. And so no matter where they venture off to in the search of any prey to hunt, they're still going to venture back into the area to try and get back to their cubs. So it's a good time for lion viewing on Londolozi at the moment, and it's only going to be so much better as we manage to find these new dens and hopefully have all of the cubs eventually grouped together. But anyways, it's very warm. We're gonna start heading back towards camp, go and enjoy a lovely breakfast and then settle in for a bit of work for the rest of the day. But enjoy the rest of your weekend and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying these virtual safaris. We'll see you all again next week.